talk a little bit about that one because we talked the other day about, you know, not really being backed into a corner coming right. off of a loss, but, but really needing to get one and then yeah. sort of the, the pressure of having to fight somebody who was coming in with, with nothing to lose. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, last minute opponent, it sucks. And I got the call on Monday after one of my mid sessions, and my coach was like, you know, uh, I got some bad news. And I was like, well, you know, I kind of knew, I had an idea. He's like, why else would I call you right now? And I was like, all right, you know, something happened with Nico. He's like, yeah, um, she backed out or, you know, she had an injury. So I was like, okay, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out what to do next. And he's like, you know, why are you so calm? It's because, you know, I put in like a, you know, a really hard camp and I, I feel like I've really filled in the, in the gaps or I'm starting to fill in the gaps of things that I've been missing and lacking in my game. And, uh, you know, no matter who they put in front of me, I just wanted to be able to showcase what I've been working on. Was she tougher out there than you thought she was going to be? Obviously, it's a little bit lopsided yeah. from a scorecard perspective, yeah. but but she seemed to be sticking yeah. with you. Oh, she was little, yeah, tough as nails, man. And we had an idea, we had an idea that she was going to come out strong. She was going to be tough. You know, there had to be some sort of confidence taking a short notice fight against someone who's had a full camp. You know, so not only did we have to face someone new, but we had to make adjustments. You know, to things that we hadn't been training for. So uh, and one of them was her being a little bit bigger than Nico and stronger and. You know, I wouldn't take any of that back because I, I keep learning as I, as I, you know, as I fight. Was uh, were, were the knees a big part of the game plan, and was that part of the game plan all along? Would that have been part of the game plan for, for Nico, or was knees that... are always a part of the game okay. plan? Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter who it is. Knees have always been, you know, my forte. So they uh, seemed on point. Obviously. Yeah, I mean, I was getting a running at the chin, and I could hear things like, you know, kind of clacking together, and she was just like, oh, like, but she kept going. Very impressive. So. Do you uh, have any kind of idea of, like what your 2020 needs to look like to kind of get back in the picture? I mean, how many times you want to do this? What do you mean? How many like, times? How many times you want to get back in there this year? I mean, how fast do you want to I do mean, it? I mean, I would love to fight as much as I can. It's experience, you know, and, and every single camp I get better. So if I can get two camps in a year, three camps in a year, four, five, six, you know, I'll fight as many times as I can. I mean, I'm, I'm healthy. So when Nico gets healthy, would you like to fight her? Absolutely. I'd like to run that back for sure. Yep. You fought Bantamweight a few times now. Yeah. Are you liking it more than Featherweight overall? Yeah, I mean, the physicality of it, yeah. I mean, I have to make sure that my performance is always on. My, my you know, my BMI is, my fat percentage is low. And, you know, one I made 135 on the dot this time. And it's, you know, at a few fights ago, it wasn't that easy. So it's just getting easier and easier. How are you going to celebrate tonight? How am I going to celebrate? Uh, to go back and, and train harder and get better? <laughs> no, I'm going to hang out with my family. They're in from New Orleans and, you know, uh, really, you know, it was a good win. It's three three good rounds and, and just try to be positive about it. I really wanted to finish, but can't always get what you ask for. So, yeah. I can enjoy Mardi Gras. Yeah, I am going to drive home for a little bit. I'm not going to stay for too long because there's a lot of king cake and you get fat off of king cake. <laughs> you can't make 135 off of king cake, so. <laughs> Like you did in the second or third round, you surprised that you out of there? Uh, I mean, there was a few times where I felt like I could get the finish, but um, I just didn't pull the trigger like I wanted to. And, uh, you know, that's just more stuff to work on. So I'm not completely, like, disappointed about it. I mean, it was a dominating three-round fight, so got to give myself a pat on the back. What did you like about tonight? What did you feel you did differently? Um, I think I transitioned a lot better, and I didn't stay in the same position for too long, except on the ground, um, just trying to control. But uh, there's a few things that I've been working on this camp that I was able to produce out there in the cage. So. You were able to get back up. Is there any disappointment in up on your back, even though it's just for a couple seconds? It's going to happen. You're going to get in a bad position. But my coach always says you get in a bad position, you make it a good position.